Welcome live from the bullpen. I'm gonna let people pop in here. Hopefully the internet is working good enough out here to, so you guys can see me, hear me, and watch the Cubbies get their butt kicked right now. It's ugly, it's ugly. But I see some people hop in here. What's up, Ecom? What's up, Tech? What's up, Cammy? What's up, Lil? What's up, Buffy? How are you guys? Welcome. Edward, what's going on, buddy? Mike and Tina. Mike and Tina, Daniel, how are you? Jesse, what's up, dude? So, got the Covey game on behind me, but it's not looking good. It is eight to nothing in the fourth inning. Eight nothing. What's up, Roy? What's up, Michael? What's up, Mo? What's up, Richard? So, promised you guys I would bring you out to the bullpen here. Still not even close to done. But what's up, Todd? How you doing, dude? You see, I didn't go during your time, dude. I hooked you up. But um, brought you guys out to the bullpen because I'm actually in the process of making a video right now, and. To, I just put up the bullpen wall art. So that's the one. That's the one. Awesome, Kelly. Love it. Sweet, Todd. That's the one that I did on the Versa Cam. And the only reason why I didn't do it bigger is I didn't want to fill up that whole area of the wall right there. So I'm going to do a large one as well. That's probably gonna be about, that one's 42 inches wide, I think. So I had to do multiple cuts and I actually cut it into four, okay? I actually cut it into four. And, um, Scotty hits a three run bomb. Are you serious? Wow, I'm delayed here. I think it's about to be 11 to nothing. Awesome. Um, with all the stuff you can do with a vinyl cutter, car tent, apparel, decals, etc. What do you write on your business cards? Honestly, Ecom, this is bad, but I was, I put freaking everything on it. I, I'm not kidding with you. My business card had so much crap on it because I wanted to let them know everything that, I was gonna go one way or the other, either way too much stuff or nice and clean and basic. I went way too much stuff because I wanted everybody to know everything I did. On the back side of my business card, I had images. And I had, I wanna say, four, I had eight images on the back of a business card plus text on top of that. And it was crazy. It was crazy. Like I had an image of a car decal, an image of a rhinestone shirt, an image of a vinyl shirt, an image of a banner, an image of a magnet, an image of this, all the different things. So. I'm a very, very visual person and I like to see stuff. And I, just because I like it, I assume that everybody else likes that. So I like to hand out a card and people not, and people say or see, oh man, they can do a football mom shirt. They can do this. And everybody loved it. Like, believe me, it was way too much information, but it got my point across and it got the point across and it, it worked because they would say, ooh, you can do a car decal. Ooh, you can do this. Ooh, you can do that. Now, Kelly, Kelly's got a serious one. Kelly's got that little freaking book. That thing is badass. So obviously a lot more expensive than just, and I'm sure some of you guys have seen in my first business cards off the start where I was doing that, man, I couldn't even afford going to Staples and getting business cards done. I was printing those things up on my printer and trying to line them up perfect with those templates. Finally gave up on those and I was trimming them with scissors. But again, got the job done and I got them to people and it brought business in. Self printed hand cut for years. Heck yeah, that's the way to do it. Save money off the start. Every dollar was invested back into the business. And even though business cards are for the business, I knew I could do them less expensive. And that extra $10, that extra 20 bucks I saved, hey, that extra 20 bucks went towards vinyl or to save for that cutter or whatever it was. So knock it out, what you guys got for questions. And by the way, let me get in here real quick and I'm gonna flip around here 
and come up the ladder and show you guys. So let me, let me actually show you from here first. So can you guys see, can you guys see all of the seams on this? Like when I zoom in, can you see the seams? It's really freaking difficult, isn't it? Even when I'm zooming in and this thing's probably 10, eight, 10 feet off the wall and you can't even see them. It's actually four different prints and you guys saw the video I put today. So that top corner is one, this corner is one, this corner is one, and then this corner is one. I'll climb up here so I can show you. So right there, it's still even freaking hard to see here. Can you guys see where all the seams meet right there? Right there, all of the corners meet. But I use the split feature in the wizard. And with the split feature in the wizard, even though I only have a 30 inch Versacam, I mean, I'm gonna put a huge one. This one, like I said, 12, 24. This one's about three and a half. This one's about three and a half feet wide. I'm gonna do probably a six foot wide one. And I'm gonna probably do a six footer. So even if you had the 54 inch Versacam, then you still have to use the split feature, but you can't tell at all. That's the awesome part about it. Now, the downfall to that is obviously it's more difficult to apply, right? So it's definitely more difficult to apply because I have to apply four different sections. But this material, this FTC printable wall vinyl, it's, I don't want to say it's like a canvas, but it's got like a texture to it. And even if it sticks to itself, you can just peel it off. It's pretty awesome. It's actually, before it was even FTC, it's the same material I used to use when I used to make wall art, I called it, fat heads, right? Back in the day. I used to do a ton of fat heads or wall art for images of kids where they give me a high resolution image that you take with a good camera and then i was doing wall art for them to put up in their rooms so i'm going to be doing one for jacks and i'm going to be you guys have seen I do, i've done one for maddie with uh with the beam so pretty sweet um i'm planning on not yet todd but i'm planning on they're sending me all types of samples all of their stuff right now it's pretty sweet so yes, this is the bullpen, okay? And it is the most amazing room I have ever seen in my life. So Jackson, Maddie, and Matt never leave this room. Like there's absolutely no reason to leave this room. So this is the area in the new house that's called the bullpen. So the house, it's a three bedroom house. I don't see the point of buying a house with all these extra rooms that you never use. We wanted to build a functional house, but also an area that was really cool. So when the kids are in high school, all the kids wanna come over to our house and now I get to monitor what goes on, right? If you have the cool place to go to, then I get to monitor everything. Now I don't have to worry about them somewhere else, right? So I'll show you the wall here in just a second. Yep, I'll show you the wall that I plan on putting it on. All right. Um, can the Silhouette Cameo make business sign car magnets or is it, is it too small? Well, it depends, Edward. Nothing is technically too small. Like this is a three and a half foot decal right here. Think of it like the 12 inch Versacam. I could technically, I could technically print and do registration marks. It would be tough in a cameo, but print, do the registration marks and cut that into 12 different pieces, right? So technically, yes, you can. You can make something as large as you want. Uh, thought there are the pond best one there, 35 acres of honey. However, the girls never brought the guys. Because <laughs> the guys would just be out hunting all day, right? So yes, technically you can make whatever size decal you want. 
It really depends. So yes, we have, um, I'm actually trying to put some wire covers and stuff on tonight that you can see me working on over there. And then Maddie's got her little tumble track thing in here. We have, this is the cage right here for the batting cage. And that's a ball feeder for the pitching machine. So Jackson's every night, basically every day, Jackson's friends want to come over because they can hit. And we got a little mini basketball hoop over there. We got the Cubs game up here. It's freaking sweet daddy. Sweet daddy. Got a little weight equipment over here. A little training facility for them to be able to do. And then I turfed the entire thing as well. Yeah, I'll show you the wall. So this is, oh, I got to scoot back. This is the wall that it's going to go on, like the big decal I was talking about. This is the wall is going to go on, okay? So when you come over here, there's Maddie's tumble track, and then there's the basketball hoop. So they just clear out the plate right here. Jackson was hitting off the tee, so he's got the bow net up there. Got all of her mats for gymnastics, and then Jackson's bat rack, and everything over there, Lorene treadmill. There's for the ladders and everything. The TV there with all the weight equipment. This thing's pretty cool. This piece actually comes off the wall and hides on the wall to leave room. And then the barbells. And then this is the area where I just put up the bullpen. So this is the cage right here. So what you do, and I'll show you how easy it is. Jackson's able to do it. So you can just grab onto here. So I didn't pull it all the way out. But there you can see, so that the cage actually attaches to the eye bolts in the wall over there. And then there's the pitching machine there. So the balls feed, this is, this is where I MacGyvered it right here. Check this out. So the pitching machine's supposed to be in there. I didn't want it to take up room. So what I did, some wood, some gutter things, and then it feeds the balls all the way down the PVC pipe over there to the machine to shoot out the balls. So we did a little MacGyver action there. <laughs> yeah, I had fun with that one. We need a crew play date. You know what's awesome? You know what's awesome is when we bring the cage back here, like I had it, we actually, let me pull it back here real quick. MacGyver would be proud. We actually turn this into, and I'll show you here, hold on. So this is probably my favorite part. Split a little line there, and who knows what these are right here? Who knows what those are right there? Yes, sir. Those right there are dodgeballs. So if Jackson ever gets in trouble, I basically say, let's go play some dodgeball. And we knock out some, we actually had um, eight of his friends over here the other day playing dodgeball and it was awesome. It was awesome. All right, hit me up with some questions. What do you guys got? Because I need to finish making this video for you guys. We just got uniforms for a dodgeball team today. Cammy, come on over and we can get some practice in. 
I know, my game feed is really behind. I got the wizard have to export to the cameo. How can I cut out and export? Cut out, export, and just cut. Got the wizard and export. Um, you want to export to the cameo. If you have the silhouette connect, you can send it directly. Or you want to import that SVG file. So export it from the wizard as an SVG file. <laughs> Kristen, we just watched that the other night. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, get connect. It helps a lot. It makes it a lot easier. I'm actually, ooh, I got something that I'm going to work on tomorrow. And I'm going to test it out for you guys. Thanks, Chuck. And I got something I'm going to test out for you guys tomorrow. And it's going to be... I think it's going to be awesome. It's one of those kind of TRW labs where it shouldn't work. You're normally going to be told it doesn't work, but I'm going to find out if it does work because I want to try something. And I think it could be pretty cool if it does work. And of course, I'll share it with you guys. I'll waste the material to let you guys know if it's going to work. Um, the house, the house is just a three bedroom, uh, three bedroom, three bath with, um, my office inside that you see, obviously. Best software for the GraphTech C6000 Mac to cut HTV. So you're saying, um, e-com, e are you saying you have a Mac? Let me know if that's what you mean by that. Can you use a wet method to layer sign vinyl to sign vinyl to make layer decals? Wet method to layer sign vinyl? No, you wouldn't want to use a wet method to layer to layer because your carrier sheets, that initial bottom carrier sheet cami is going to get wet. And when that gets wet, it can cause an issue. Use registration marks and then you don't need to worry about it. Um, for a Mac, the best software, even though it's not compatible with the Mac, is of course the Wizard and Corel, because you would just use Parallel or Boot Camp to run it on your Mac. But I would, re I would recommend getting a, I would recommend getting just a cheaper PC. $4,600 order, sweet daddy, Todd, that's awesome. That's freaking amazing. Myra uses boot camp, sweet. We actually, um, it's funny, we actually had Universal Studios just contact us to do a big thing for a big release that they're doing here soon. So we have our bid in on it, who knows? I can't say anything about it because they're real secretive with that stuff, but could be awesome I don't know and then it, if it is then Kelly knows all about this then I'll do a video on it if we do get something and then I can release the video after the event and everything is all done um, Cami you can use the white black carrier sheet from the rhinestone acrylic tape to layer. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh man, Philip was on fire today. I was in there because I was printing up these first cam decals and stuff to do this. And it's funny, it's funny because. Philip still does like our local stuff with the different schools and stuff. And he gets so frustrated sometimes at the customers who are always right. You guys know how that is, right? Can we change the word mom from the design in yesterday? Myra, on that particular design, no. Because I did all of the work for it, okay? So on that one, I already put the stones around it. I already have the football. I already have it all knocked out. 
because my goal was for that one is for everybody to be able to use it whether they have the wizard or not so as you guys know we have some packs that are just kind of svg files then we have some that are kind of i guess i would call it kind of hybrid where it will have um the part of it be editable but the simple part so if someone is using designer edition they have the mom part with the football and the stones already done, the difficult part, and then they can just type in some wording on their own in the top and still use it. Um, good evening, I'm really enjoying your YouTube site. Recently purchased Corel Draw 2019. I was wondering, is there a rhinestone version for the Mac trial? Um, what is it, Marie? Marie or Mary, I'm not sure which one, but no, because the Mac version of Corel isn't really their full-blown versions of Corel yet. It doesn't allow you to do everything. So our goal is, is eventually they get it to where we can build our software into that Mac version and then everybody's loving it. What fonts did I use? Uh, the fonts on the football mom shirt, Cami, just to let you know. The bottom one is the Sport Block font, one of our TRW fonts, and then the top one is Impact. Just launched my vinyl website. I was wondering what would be the best way to advertise it for cheap. Um, Nick, just get some decals out there. Cut up a bunch of decals, bring them to different little leagues and events and principals, give them some samples. The biggest thing when you're getting started that you have is time. All right, so use the time because like right now you don't get a lot of time as, as your business grows and you've got a lot of orders, you're not going to have the time that you have now. So use your time wisely now, get some free ones out there, get some samples to the different schools and organizations, get to the different businesses. One thing that's really, really cool, one thing that's really cool that you can do, especially for local, is to get, um, get into... A lot of places want full color stuff. A lot of places want full color stuff to do for storefront windows, but every storefront needs business hour signs. That was one thing I did a ton of because all the business hour signs are always just done in a standard white vinyl. So that's one thing I always used to do is anytime I went anywhere, I go to the grocery store, I go to the gas station, I go to here, I go to here. And anytime I saw a location that didn't have store hours or they had some cheap little sign up there, I would go in there and I would tell them, hey, I can do your window lettering or I can do this and I can do this and I would give them that card that has everything on it. So that's one thing. And then obviously the other thing, because you're saying inexpensive, do this right here. Make YouTube videos of them, right? That's free, okay? Get a free Equid site, get it out there, okay? Again, it's free. Create an Instagram page, Twitter, Facebook, everything. All of that free stuff, every single one of you should be doing all of that. YouTube's awesome because you're not gonna get a lot of views off this start, but the awesome part about it is you make a, you make a video on applying a vinyl car window decal, someone sees it and they're like, man, that's cool. I wonder if they do this. I wonder if they do this. And what you start to notice is you'll get emails of, can you do this? Can you do this? Talk to everyone, 100%. I, I was telling you guys the other night, I used to literally get out of my car at a stop sign or at a stop light. Not safe. So I'm not recommending you do that just in case someone gets hit by a car. All right. So at your own risk. Do not try this at home but or on the road but i used to literally get out of my car and if i saw a lawn service that was driving by and their decals were peeling off the car or they were faded or whatever i would hop out of my car run over and hand them a business card and say i can fix that for you so anybody that i saw that could possibly be a customer i went after it and you know what of all the cards that i gave out Say I gave out 10,000 cards, I might have only got 100 actual orders from that. That's 100 orders more than I would have ever gotten, right? Plus, 
the way this business is, it's an amazing business in the industry that we're in. Everything that you make for someone is advertising, right? So you make that awesome decal, another mom sees it on the car, they say where they got it from. That mom gets it, two more moms see it, they say where they got it. Those two moms, now six moms see it, and now you get more and so on. And it just snowballs from there. Um, do you remove old vinyl and replace? Um, it depends. It depends. So, Cami, what I always loved to do, I hated installing the vinyl. I hated installing the decals. So, I would, I was kind of tricky with this. I would sell them the decal at a price where I'm still making great money because the margins are so big, right? But I would say, okay, this is a $30 storefront window decal but it's fifty dollars to install it and they're like man i don't want to pay 50 bucks or i have a video on how to install your business hours decal and then it's free for you and it's honestly pretty hard to screw it up with a wet application because you can kind of move it around a little bit so that anytime it was something that i didn't really want to do I would normally overcharge for it and then that way just in case they said yes then it was worth my time how did you charge for the time did you remove the decals for them and then apply the new decal did you just um and that's another thing i did if i had to remove a decal i would have them take a picture of it for me and i would look at it and if i'm like man this is on a freaking trailer it's going to take me three hours to do that i would say hey here's the deal it's 300 bucks or whatever your time is worth to you okay i think at the time i was charging like 75 bucks an hour 75 bucks an hour for me to remove that then you got the install fee then you got the decal price and then that's where everybody's like man i can do it myself just make me the decal um which designing with matt will have football fade training um ba, 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 ba. i don't know if we have one out that you mentioned last night no football 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 fade um leanne i'm actually going to be doing a designing with matt um on friday this week okay on friday and i think i'm going to be so we are doing uh, a lot of people ask with that football design last night and to get some other sports, especially all you Cameo users. So I'm going to make a mini pack of about probably eight different sports, kind of the main sports off the start with the SVG files because we got so many requests for it from the football one last night. So I am going to make that. We'll probably, I'm guessing we'll probably release that tomorrow or Thursday. Today's Tuesday, tomorrow or Thursday, and then I'm thinking on Friday, and it'll probably be earlier on Friday. It'll probably be earlier, probably mid-afternoon-ish is my guess. I'm trying to find out Jackson's schedule and everything, and Lorraine to figure out what I have to do on Friday. We're still getting everything ready for Long Beach for next week, so we'll see. Um... Have a, have a great time running errands, Blard. <laughs> My cable's out. Can you put the Yankee game on? Well, anything other than the Cubs getting beat 11 nothing, sure. <laughs> All right, what else you guys got for me? I got to get going. So I got to run a bunch of cables tonight. And then I got to get this video finished as well so I can get this thing posted. We good to go? But how sweet, how sweet is that as far as not seeing any seams, not seeing any seams on that bad boy and making it as large as I want. So I'll do another video when I install the large one. Over And again, I didn't need any help either, okay? I did that by myself just with the ladder. So that's what's really cool about it is to be able to do a four-piece decal. That just shows you how easy that material is to work with, which is cool. So I could put on a school gymnasium, okay? Um, I think it was either today or tomorrow, Bill. I think we're going to officially put it out tomorrow. 
Heads up for you guys, Wizard 5.9 coming out tomorrow. We added a new button that actually has three new features. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We were making a, Sean was making a video on it today. How much do I charge to print a decal? What do you mean, Rebecca? To print this one? I would have to run the square inch on it. I will, I'll throw that in the video or in the comments in the video and, and run my square inch on it and figure out my ink cost and stuff to see what I would charge for that. So yes, I'll definitely let you guys know. I was printing it up real quick today so I didn't look at any of the ink ink usage and I didn't measure the exact material used and everything. But what I did do, you can see like in that area right there, you could see on the prints that I did today, I also printed out some other smaller ones as well. Because again, I'm gonna waste that material anyway. With the print cut, you can't go back and really use those small little areas. So, the, um, when someone orders something like that, I normally just give them those as bonuses, as freebies. Kind of like you get when you get screen print transfers. Um, how much we, uh, best graphic cutter software? Graph tech cutter software. Well, Ecom, the, the graph tech's coming with Cutting Master 4. So that's what you're gonna use for your actual cut software. Now it's just your design software that you're gonna, whatever you're gonna use for that. Sweet daddy. All right, crew, appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I answered some of your questions tonight, helped you guys out. And um, I will be editing this video. I should get this up by tomorrow to show you guys this and how easy the install would be. Um, be selling sublimation products so I can buy from you for my sublimation. Oh man, just say the word, just say the word, just say the word. Um, there's not plans for it in the near future, but maybe soon, you never know. I never say never, right? Never say never. <laughs> All right, crew, you guys have an amazing night. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow. And then I got something coming up soon here where I'm thinking Monday, just to give you a heads up now, I'm thinking Monday at 9 p.m. We may be looking to possibly do that training with possibly a cameo giveaway if you meet the requirements to get that. So stay tuned on that. Hi, crew. Have an amazing night. Later.